केमिकल काइनेटिक्स जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन काइनेटिक्स जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन Now zero order reaction. Suppose A changes to product. A changes to product at T equals to zero. Initial concentration is A naught. At T equals to T, A naught minus X, which is A T. What is A T? A T is a final concentration at the time T, and this one is X. Okay. And so just write down. A naught is initial concentration. At time equals to zero, A T is a final concentration. <coughs> at time t, okay. Clear. Now for zero order reactions, can I write? Rate equal to k a to the power zero. Okay, now a to the power zero equals to one. So from here we can write rate equals to k. One of the most important reaction and first equation for zero order reaction. So in this case we can write rate does not depends upon so rate only dependent on rate is directly proportional to rate constant so rate. Of reaction does not depends upon concentration as well as time taken. Okay, so just write it down. The reaction whose rate does not depends upon depends upon concentration as well as on time. On time are known as zero order reaction. Okay, is it clear? Any doubt? So from here we can write. How can I write the derivation? Rate equals to we can write d a by d t. D a by d t is basically what you what is the meaning of rate of disappearance of a which is equals to k. So this stuff we can write d a naught minus x a naught d t which is equals to k. So just cut down. So from here we can write d x by d t which is equals to k. dx 0 to x k dt 0 to t so from here we can write x 0 to x normal integration 0 to t x equals to kt equation number 2 okay now what should be the at at equals to a not minus x what is the what is the x value A not minus K T equation number three. Okay. Now in this case we can write this concentration term. You can change by pressure. So from here we can write P not minus K T concentration term. You can changes by pressure. Concentration changes by pressure. Okay. Okay. Is it clear? Next, we are dealing with lifetime of reaction. T L T of reaction. Okay. Now, what is T L T of reaction? Time in which hundred percent of reaction gets completed. 
time in which 100% of reaction gets completed. Okay, that means we can write in this case at TLT lifetime all the reaction lifetime means reaction already completed. So AT value equals to zero x equals to a naught. So just put the value AT value zero x equals to a naught. In this case, just put the value. So can I write zero equals to a naught k in this particular equation? You can write TLT. So from here, TLT, which is equals to a naught by k, equation number two. What is the unit of k? Mole liter inverse time inverse. That is the unit of k. Okay, write it down next half lifetime. Write it down first. Then next <coughs> half life table. Fifty percent. Okay, time in which 50% of reaction gets completed. So just write down time in which 50% of the reaction gets completed. Okay, so we can write at T equals to T half. What should be the AT value? A naught by 2. So AT equals to A naught minus KT. We can write A naught by 2. A naught KT half. What should be the KT half? KT half equals to A naught by 2. So T half equals to A naught by 2K. Okay. Okay. This one is the equation number, equation number four, sorry, equation number five, equation number six. All the in between this one, this equation, this equation, which are most important equation, this three equation. Next, we are going to the degree of dissociation. What is degree of dissociation? degree of dissociation of zero order reaction. Zero order reaction. What is alpha? Degree of dissociation can consider as alpha. Now what is alpha? Alpha is mole dissociated by initial moles. Initial moles. Okay. Now alpha equals to mole dissociated, which is we can write x initial moles a naught. What should be the x value? Kt a naught. Equation number seven.
Okay. Now degree of dissociation. is dependent on time. Okay. Always remember if alpha max value can be one means 100% dissociation takes place. If alpha value is zero, no dissociation. Okay, clear, write it down next. Some important examples of zero order kinematics. Done. Next, some important example of zero order kinetics. Examples of zero order reaction. Okay. First, photochemical reaction. Photochemical reaction. For photochemical reaction, H2 plus Cl2 H nu, which is equal to, to HCl. In this case, if you increase the intensity of light, if you increase the intensity of light, rate of reaction increases. So just write it down this reaction. depends on intensity of light intensity of photons what do you mean by intensity of photons intensity intensity represent number of photons bombarded bombardment per unit time per unit area per unit time, per unit area. Okay. Now in this case, can I write rate equals to K? This one, photochemical. Next is enzyme catalyzed reaction. Enzyme catalyzed reaction means if you increase the concentration of enzyme, reaction rate increases. So it depends on concentration of enzyme. Third, dissociation of gases on solid surface. Third. Dissociation of gases on solid surface taken at high temperature and high pressure. High pressure. Remember one thing, if surface area increases, surface area increases, rate of reaction also increases. Okay, so it depends on only the surface area part. Okay, so you can write 2NH3 when it react into 
3H2. 4PH3, when react, it form P4, 6H2. Is it clear? So hydrogen gas, hydrogen gas eliminating. Any doubt? Okay, write it down. Okay, next some important characteristics of zero order reaction. Zero order reaction. In this case, equal percentage of reaction complete at same time. First point, equal percentage of reaction, percentage of reaction completes in same time. Same time. Like if this one is a hundred, after ten minute, ten dissociation takes place. We get ninety again. Ten minute dissociation of ten happens again. Ten minute dissociation of ten happens. So equal, not equal percentage, equal amount. So just write down equal amount of reaction completes at same time. Second one. Concentration of reactant left after equal time interval are in AP. Concentration of reactant left equal time interval are in AP series. Okay. Now at T equals to zero, concentration is A naught, T equals to T, A naught minus KT, T equals to two T time, A naught minus two KT, T equals to three T time, A naught minus three KT. What should be the difference between these two? KT, in this case, difference KT, in this case, difference KT. Okay. So difference should be same R in AP. Now the third point. Half lifetime depends on initial concentration. What should be the T half? T half equals to A naught by 2K. We all know that. So just write down third point. Half lifetime depends upon initial concentration. initial concentration t half proportional to a naught okay okay next graph related to zero order kinetics look rate equals to k in this case rate versus concentration what should be the rate versus concentration graph state line 
which is parallel next rate versus time there is any relationship between rate and time no relationship third at equals to a naught minus kt this one equals to y c m x okay in this case graph is this one a naught this one is a slope which is k is it clear next fourth one y equal x equals to kt graph is y equals to mx x t what is x concentration of product okay slope next what should be the t half a not by 2k this one we can write 1 by 2k into a not so this one equals to y m x t half <coughs> a not 1 by 2k slope 1 by 2k slope concentration initial concentration reactant <coughs> okay alpha equals to kt by a naught okay alpha what should be the formula of alpha kt by a naught now we can write this one equals to y mx alpha alpha is nothing but degree of dissociation dod is it clear any doubt regarding this part tell me okay next question answer of this particular stuff zero order reaction first question number one a particular reaction particular reaction gets completed Twenty percent in twenty minutes, and forty percent in forty minutes. Determine order of reaction and rate constant of reaction. Okay, first question is this one. Second question, just a minute, second question I'm giving you. Mm. Question number two. Two N two O five 
in this case rate is given k into o5 to the power 1 d into o5 Now derive relationship between K1, K2 and K3. Solve it, these two. So it will be giving you five minute time.
completed now in this case we have to first we have to assume this one is a zero radiation or not first let assume assume zero radiation okay now 20 percent completed in 20 minutes 40 percent completed in 40 minutes so first criteria what what should be the 80 value what, what should be the a naught value 100 20 percent dissociation means 80 is 80. now time is given what is the time 20 minute formula is 80 equals to a naught minus kt what should be the 80 80 equals to 80 120 into k now find out the k value k value becomes one now for second equation second equation means 40 percent completed in 40 minutes in this particular stuff a naught 100 80 60 time given 40 so 80 equals to a naught minus kt 80 value is 60 a naught is 100 40 into k k equals to 1 okay so in this what should be the determine determine the order of reaction order is zero order okay zero order reaction that's why both cases k value are seven so order is zero order rate constant value which is one now unit unit is if you check mole liter inverse time inverse for zero order reaction unit is mole liter inverse time inverse is it clear go for the next one now from this particular equation we can write rate which is equals to one by two so just write down one by two minus into d n two o five by dt one by four d n o two by dt <coughs> d o two by dt now what is the red value red value equals to k n two o five one one by two k one n two o five one one by four k two n two o five one k three n two o five one okay k equals to k one by two k two by four k three is it clear any doubt so from here we can write what should be the k1 k1 equals to 2k what is k1 rate constant of this particular what should be the k rate constant of the particular substituents into stoichiometry of this particular stuff and k is a rate constant of reaction so from here we can write a very important reaction rate constant k of any reactant which is equals to stoichiometry coefficient into rate constant of any reaction <coughs> is it clear any doubt Any doubt? Next question.
रेट कांस्टेंट ऑफ ए बी एंड सी रिलेशन बिटवीन के ए के बी एंड के सी सोल्व इट लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे How can you find rate constant of particular substance stoichiometry of this one into rate constant like this way? Try to solve it. completed now in this case how can you find rate constant k a can i write 2 into k k b 3 k k c 5 k 
Now, what should be the relationship? Relationship is this one, just like this way. K equals to Ka by 2, Kb by 3, Kc by 5. Okay. And that is the end for today. Is it clear? Okay. So that is the end. Bye. Take care tomorrow or day after tomorrow, Friday, Sunday, I will take one class. Okay. Bye.